the three ways on how you can track your time either using the due date you can then use the next step in the custom field or you can use the lineup now how and when do i use these three functions Data are important when it comes to project management because it determines when we have to do something. It also tells us when something is due and it tells us what steps are needed to be taken in maybe a week or two ahead to get to the deadline. So on ClickUp, we can use the task function to add a due date and a reminder. And these will come up as you can see in our inbox. I've got a task here under reference numbers. These are reference numbers that I'm still active and it's accounts I have. So Virgin Active has still debited my account, which I should not have debited my account based on the agreement we had. So I set a deadline and due date for the 25th of February. But the 25th of February is only in two months time. Um, between then, they have to send me an email, the accounts people said they'll send me an email. So I can put the reminder on that. So there's the reminder. I can set the reminder on this note and say remind me and remind me when? Remind me before this date. So if they could remind me on the 25th of January, a month before, that would be better for me to know if the task is on track and if they on track on their side of the refund. So by doing so, setting the reminder, if I now go to my home, I'm not sure why it's called home, but ClickUp decided to call it home. I've got now on my inbox a reminder. Okay, it's not showing up because it's not assigned to me. So let me assign that to myself. So assigning it to myself, I go back to the task and this is assigned to me and I can assign the comment so so I go back to home and that's the steps see inbox it's got the virgin active so all tasks that are assigned to you will come in your inbox now you can agree that this can get cluttered because now you're going to be sitting with deadlines and you're going to be sitting with next steps. Now, how do you differentiate between the two? Now, that can get very confusing. Now, the way I've done it on my ClickUp is I created a custom field called next steps. And this helps me know, know what I have to do next. And I've also built a custom dashboard on viewing all that has to be done next. And this helps me keep track of how to not let things slip through the cracks and meet my deadlines. And this helps also all our team members to also keep track of what they're doing at a specific time if a task has to be broken down into smaller action points. To create a custom field is quite easy. If you've never done one before, I'm gonna do it now in operations. So on my operational space, under my reference code, if I go to the Virgin Active part, the only custom field I have is next steps, but I don't have a date for that next step. So I'm gonna add a date to this. And I can add the custom field either on the, on the list level or on the folder level. In this case, instead of going to every single list and every or every single folder, I'd like the next step step date to be on all of these folders and lists in this space. So I'm going to go to the operations and click on custom field. And on a custom field, I'm going to add an existing field because I've already used this field elsewhere. So I've got to use existing field and I'm going to type in gold. Now I've named it gold just to help me know that these are the really top class, world class 
custom fields that I'll be using across most of my workspaces. And that's the date. And it says next step date. That's correct. I'm going to say use this field. That's just a pro tip I can give you because if I go to my existing field list, I've got so many different fields which I have to clean up. Now these fields will come if you import a template from ClickUp, which I've done in the beginning. And most of those templates don't work for me because I've got my own design flows and my own workflows that I use. Um, ClickUp tends to like using the statuses as it goes through a project. And I prefer using custom fields instead of having different statuses across my workplace. So because of that, I'm refining it. And that's why I've got so many existing fields. And this is something common that I've seen in most people that started with ClickUp. They end up with a large amount of existing fields, testing what works for them. And then they come down to a few that actually works. And those few I've worked and I've named it gold or I've named it new in, if it's something that I believe is a bit better than what I use in the past and I don't get confused. So that's just some tip regarding custom fields. Now that I've got my custom field, I can add the version active and I can say next step date, I can call it, let's say that's the same date, I can make it the same date as a reminder, 25th of January. And that's what I have to do on the next step. I can go out of here. Now how this helps is when I go to my dashboard, So I've created a dashboard that gives a summary of all the next steps that has to be done. And the next steps is grouped by my different staff members on our team. And in summary, it gives what date it has to be done and a summary of what needs to be done. So in the morning when I wake up, I tend to go to my next steps and use this as what I have to do next. This helps me plan out my whole week. Now, how did I create this dashboard and what filtering did I use? If I go to the settings page of this specific dashboard and I go to the settings, I created a task list. So I, I use the widget task list. I named it next steps and this should be for the month. I can have it for the week. Also, if I want to, I can change it up and change the filtering field for, th for the quarter. I'm using all locations. I can change this also and say only use the locations of my clients or only use the locations of pipeline if I'm in the CRM sales part. I can include subtasks, which I normally do. And this is the interesting part, the main part, which is the task filter. So the task filter I've used in this case is the custom field which states next step. So I've used next step and I said everything that is for this month. I can say everything that is for next week if I want to over there or I can type in everything, everything that is next, whatever has to be done next, please filter it and put it here. And then I've grouped it by assignee. Now this really helps us delegate our work between our team members to know who's, what has to be done for that specific team member for the week. Now to demonstrate another way of adding one year, I'd go to a client. Let's go to a random client. Um, so I went to a random task and in this case I have to get the bank statement from the client. Now I've already got it as a checklist, but let's say the next date when my staff come back from leave it'll be the 14th of january the next step goal is obtain bank statement from client obtain bank pdf from client and assign this to a staff member if this is not assigned it won't go either in the inbox and it won't go in the special 
dashboard I built. Now, this task is only due at the end of January. Um, and if this pops up in the inbox at the end of January, if they don't get the bank statement by Thursday, they're not going to finish their work. And this tends to happen with most projects. People tend to miss things because they only see the due date. And, and with this dashboard, but with the dashboard, it helps you keep up to track on what needs to be done in a simple one space for all to see. Now I can split this up and let each staff member only see their own items if they don't want to share everything else and I can then filter it by only seeing this specific staff member but we're quite open on what we're doing because we try to help and collaborate on where or who is working on more tasks than it should be. Okay, cool. I hope that helped. Um, I hope you learned something. Um, my next video that I'll be doing is how to use the time tracker. So I'm really enjoying the way that ClickUp has done their time tracking. It's really improved since it's used its legacy part. Um, here's a brief overview of the timing. I can see all staff members. I can see when they worked and it gives a nice widget on how many hours it was out, out of the day that we worked. It shows the date and we can even go a step further and this is on ClickUp, ClickUp tends to do this, which I enjoy, but if you're not aware of it, it can be um, painful. But these features are there, if you click on something, there's the arrows, and if you don't see those arrows, and you don't click on them, you may miss it. So when you hover over something and you see something pop up, just make a click and you'll see more detail. So I can see all the notes I've made. I can see a in depth, what times I logged for every task. So this is really helpful when it comes to billing clients. And I'm going to go more in depth in the next video on how to do time sheets and how to just track your time overall in your workspace. So you know what time clients are taking from your day or what time staff members are maybe overwhelmed on some tasks. And this really helps you plan in for the future. Now, what happens in cases when you don't want to write a whole story for a task which is so simple to do and you know you have to do it and just came up during the day? So what typically happens is a client will phone you and will ask you, can you just please resend me your previous financial statements or can you just please do something which takes really quick to do, so it's a quick win um, and you just mustn't slip out of your mind. And to write the whole comment and add it to a reminder and all that on ClickUp, yeah, it can be tedious. So what I tend to do in the case like that is, I tend to go to the client in general and something that remind me to send the report. I'll go into the report and I'll say add to lineup. Now all tasks in ClickUp allows you to have this field called add to lineup. And when you add it to lineup, you can choose who has to do that task. So obviously I'm going to give it to myself because I know what the client called me and I'll add a lineup. If it was for another member and they maybe sent a reminder to, um, to another team member, I would then make a comment and say, at team member, please, can you put this through and send the email to the client as they ask for a resend of the invoice or whatever it was they're asking for. And then you can also line up for that specific individual. So I'm lining up to myself and what happens then is on my home page I have a thing called lineup and this lineup I can move around also so I tend to keep all items for the next two days which is quick wins um, quick to do but might slip my mind instead of writing it down on a piece of paper and then losing it um, I rather keep it under lineup and I know okay cool there's client management reports click into that oh yeah quickly send them an email and what's nice is soon very soon ClickUp is going to allow us to send emails directly from ClickUp and that's going to be a real game changer because it will allow us to keep all our items in one place and I can't wait for that. So as you finish the lineup 
you're done with it, you just click on the cross and it goes out. It doesn't affect the task at all and it's a really great feature just to keep yourself quick and organized. Thank you.